Wonderland on Symphony of the Seas. And I kind of feel like I have to do this in secret because it's, well, I don't want to call it intimate, but uh, it just doesn't seem the kind of boisterous place where they would expect people like filming their dinner. So I just got the menu and admittedly, I am confused. I've heard of this. So this is what they bring for the menu. And right, so it's, it's a picture frame. I mean, it looks really like just an Ikea picture frame. There's nothing on the back. And, well, that's it. So, here's our smoke ring. Ooh. Oh. Very nice. Ah, uh, thank you. All right, everyone, here we go. The, the super secret menu. This is like uh, something from Get Smart. And uh, wait, we have to dip the brush in the magic ink. And... Uh, oop. There we go. Uh, oh, something is appearing. I hope I can read that. All right, there we go. And that reveals the menu. All right, so far, here's the deal. You choose your main, which is what I did, and I guess they just bring the courses of appetizers from the different um, genres. And the menu is divided into uh, five different, you know, types. There's, uh, I, I can't see it now. Oh, here we go. There's sun, ice, fire, earth, and sea. Uh, the mains are part of earth and sea, so the beef, the pork, the chicken, the lobster, and the fish. And the sun, ice, and fire are the appetizers. So, I'm gonna see what I get from sun, earth, and fire. I told him just bring whatever. Bring whatever chef recommends. The menu isn't very descriptive, so I know if I try and actually decide, I'll be here probably until we get to Orlando. So, I said bring whatever. So I'm a little bit uh, excited to see what comes out. This lovely creation you're looking at is the White Rabbit Rita. What's uh, more important about this is I can finally show you what they've done about the straws. So what they did was not eliminate all straws. They just eliminated plastic straws. I, why is this so difficult? I don't know. Uh, but they've replaced them with these lovely paper straws. When I was a kid, I remember paper straws were very common and I just kind of got used to them and then they just sort of disappeared and now they're making a comeback. So, you know, what's old is new again is the lesson in straws, I guess. Sorry, I'm not going to uh, rehydrate the menu to describe these, but they look wonderful, and you saw the presentation. It's very nice, and it's actually pretty good. Uh, next time I come, I can show them the video and say, I want something else, because I have no idea <laughs> of what any of these things are. A liquid lobster, a shrimp, and the, the bird's nest, it's all edible. So, uh, well, I'll give it a try, and I really hope it's as tasty as it looks. But before we get started, I want to try this uh, white rabbit pizza. Wow. Ooh. Wow, 
that is potent. Oh my god. Okay, okay. You, you really need to like tequila to enjoy this. It is strong, like way strong, way stronger than I thought. But it's good. I'm gonna stop here and just say the bird's nest is really good. Now, I've only tried the nest, but it's something for me, oh, that is so good because it reminds me of when I was a kid and my grandmother would toast those big shredded wheat, um, like loaves or whatever, and they would come out so crisp and toasty and she would melt butter on them and you know we would eat them as a snack and they were so good. And this is just like that. So, oh, God, they could bring me a, a bowl of just the nest and I would be happy. I'm, I'm going to try the egg. Um, he did say the egg was the main part of the meal, but uh, the nest, for me, the nest just makes the dish. And this is an element of sound. This is reconstructed caprese. So my initial reaction to this is, oh my God, there's more. This is not the main, this is another appetizer. Oh my God. So this is uh, gonna be pretty intense. It looks great. That is a, a reconstructed tomato. So yeah, it's a, like some Borg tomato thing. Um, grown, shaped in a plastic bag. Very, very high tech. Okay, I wanna show you this because it's very weird and it's not at all what I expected. I think these are reconstructed olives. So you, you punch it and it like comes apart. I, it's good, but strange. And now the reconstructed tomato is not what I expected. It's actually kind of firm. It's like a, a gelatin type thing. I, I haven't tried it yet. So this, this really is the first time I'm gonna try this. So uh, here we go. Oh boy, it just keeps coming. This is ice. It's not even the main course yet. I think I'm gonna turn it early tonight. Do you have a, a big day tomorrow? It's our first full day at sea, first of nine. I am so excited, or first of eight, I think. from each of the realms of uh, earth, ice, or uh, sea, and a main from either earth or sea. So I, I'm done with the uh, five starters, and uh, that was a lot, wow. So only the main is coming, and uh, then I presume there's going to be a dessert. The sign just so, you never know who's behind you and how long they've been there. <laughs> Yeah, but sometimes we all come out of nowhere, yes? <laughs> oh, that's the header. I'm sorry, we're gonna have to reintroduce him. Uh, problem with the video last time. I'm so sorry, it was great, but we'll do it again. It's gonna be fun. Did you miss me? Is that why you came back? I, yes, I traded even more pixie dust for this reservation. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. You have to. Yes. Well, uh, the pixies were messing with my camera and they deleted. And they forgot who I was. Yes. So, please, if you would, say hi to sister again. Hi, sister. I'm the Hatter, of course. Yes, born and raised right here under the beautiful stars of Wonderland. And, you know, I am around, still here. They kept me here. Yeah, no, it's not that bad. It's my home. Yeah, of course, I think we're having a conversation now. I can hear voices in my head sometimes. Oh, really? But I must say welcome, welcome back to Wonderland, of course. We sprayed in the oven for six hours, which is very, very tender. And we say we need this. All right, so let's try the uh, Korg cube of short rib. Very good. Um, you said it was braised for like eight hours. All the seasoning is well infused. It's very good. The top is nice and crispy. The inside is very tender. The flavor is great. So I am liking this a lot. This is probably going to be, uh, well, this is definitely going to be maybe, well, no, we'll do the dessert. Running out of power. 
Keeping the phone charged is going to be really tough. Well, we'll be back for dessert. Okay, let's go. It's like alien. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So actually, this is a chocolate bowl. Mm -hmm. Inside we have chocolate mousse with peanut butter, mm -hmm. caramel ice cream. Uh, we're using crispy rice for decoration and I'm using hot caramel sauce for this presentation. Yum. Yes. Okay. Yum, yummy time. Great. Thank you. Well, in addition to the dessert, I have to point out the fun spoon that they bring. Oh. Oh, great. Now the lighting is better. All right, well, that's what it looks like. I think this might be a time travel type deal because there's some additional things that I want to show you, like this tunnel entering Wonderland. Hi, butterflies. And the golden door that you cross on the way in. And we're back. Okay, first, one thing to take care of. Yeah, and of course this is our very merry on birthday to you, to you. Our very merry on birthday to you and me and you, of course. So I want to wish you guys a happy, happy non-birthday, of course. Because it's okay, we're not burning yourself. No, I'm just kidding. I must say, you guys are very merry on birthday. Well, I would say all of us, but more from me to you in Wonderland. Yes, yeah, so I want you to make a wish and blow up in the candle, of course. On the count of four. Ready? One, two, and... Four. I don't know why people always seem to count to three these days because, you know, I think four is a very important number too. It's very important. He or she, whoever he may be, needs a little credit too. But you guys, very, very important. I have not a proud of this kind of one that I do. Yes, and you know, in Wonderland, with all those thoughts and everything, I would say sometimes you just battle on and on about everything and everything. And people tend to stop and listen. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes the brain does fly around the room faster.